Here's a popular and informed Sunshine Tour star who, on the back of finishing second at Arabella, is preparing for a busy period overseas. I've actually got a stint of five weeks in Europe coming up. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's been a bit of a bad run in Europe. Did it last year, got the card, and it just just not playing well. Just lost it a bit, and it's it's feeling like it's coming back. So I can't wait for that. It's, I'm actually feeling excited to play golf again, which is great. And uh, the five weeks coming up, we get into a bit of a run there. Um, you know, really looking forward to it. Yakuala's would ideally have also have liked to defend the title at the next Sunshine Tour event, the Sun Wild Coast Sun Challenge. That was a nice win, especially that first round, to, to play that well and then see, listen, but I can actually play this golf course. Um, was nice. It's always nice to win more than once a year. And um, that was just a week that everything went my way. And, and for, well, fortunately, that's how it has to be when you've when you got to you win. Yaku actually won three times last year. The Wild Coast win came after an inspired opening 61. It's actually a really nice course that, that grows on you. I think it grew on me a bit. It's short, but you got to really get it pretty good if the wind blows. So it's, it's a course that you can also get, there's a bailout, so you can, you can bail out to one side or bail out to another side and you always have a shot. So if you've got a certain shape going, just trust that and play. And it's, that last few hours is a really nice finish that you can actually make a few birdies or you can, or you got to hang on with a lead. So it's, yeah, it's an overall nice golf course. Nice when you back up an explosive opening with two rounds of 66, holding off a wealth of low scorers. Lovely last year, played really nice, putted well. So also started putting well this week last year. So let's hope that's the omen to go on for the next for the rest of the year. So um, at the end of the day, it's all about putting. Any tour, you can you can keep it in play, and if you putt well, you're going to make a good score. So, well, good luck to the guys next week. Um, hopefully, it doesn't blow too much. But uh, yeah, it's unfortunately missing that one. It would have been nice to defend. But uh, yeah, I'm going to Denmark. So sorry, boys. <laughs> Let's hope the Made in Denmark event sees a step up on overseas performances so far this year. I'm not too fussed about the travel. I've done a bit of travel in my life before, so that's not too bad. I just I just struggled to play. I just couldn't see shots. I just hit bad shots, hit the wrong shot at the wrong time, and uh, just confidence was down. And up in there, on that tour, if your confidence is down, you, you're going to struggle. Yes, he's not had the results he'd have wanted, but it's not all doom and gloom. As often said, it's a game of fine lines. The last six months, don't don't ask me anything about margins. I've had all of them, so it's no, it's in this game, it's about millimeters sometimes, and um, sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it doesn't, and you just got to roll with the punches. When it goes your way, just use it and go. You know, the guy said to me one day, the difference between a good player and a great player is the guy that can see the turning point in a round and use it to his advantage. Now, if you think about that, if you get a good bounce and you can capitalize on that and then momentum get to the next hole, that's the difference. So, no, that's all it's about. And if you get the bad bounce and you get upset and you make a bogey the next hole again, the momentum goes the other way. So, you've got you to see that difference. He sounds positive. For Yakualas, that little white ball could be working some magic in weeks to come.